The objective of this lesson is to subtract by counting down on a number line. In a previous lesson, students explored several ways to count up on a number line in order to solve addition problems. Students have learned how to decompose whole numbers in a wide variety of ways. Today, students will explore the different ways to count back on a number line in order to subtract. Let's begin with the problem. Jennifer and her mom purchased 73 flowers at the nursery to plant in their flower beds. On Saturday, they planted 46 of the flowers. How many were left to plant? The subtraction equation to represent this problem is 73 minus 46 equals something. This is called a take from problem because there is a total and an amount is taken from the total. Start by drawing an open number line with 73 on the right side of the number line since we will be taking 46 from 73. There are a variety of ways to jump back or subtract 46 on the number line. Let's start by decomposing the 46 into 40 plus 3 plus 3. Take away or jump back the four tens first, followed by the ones. Jump back 40 to land at 33. Then jump back 3 to land at 30. And then jump back the last 3 to land at 27. The difference is 27. Another way to solve this problem would be to round 46 up to 50 and then compensate by adding the 4 back at the end. 73 jump back 50 will land at 23, then add back in the 4 to land at 27. Let's solve another problem. There were 415 students on the playground. 178 third grade students were called inside. How many students are still on the playground? The subtraction equation to represent the problem is 415 subtract 178 equals something. One way to solve would be to decompose the 178 into 100 plus 63 plus 15. Start by subtracting 15 to land at 400. Then subtract 100 to land at 300. And then jump back or subtract the 63 to land at 237. Another way to solve this problem would be to round the 178 up to 200 by adding 22 and then use compensation by adding 22 back at the end. 415 minus 200 is 215. Now compensate by adding 22 for a final answer of 237. There are a wide variety of ways to subtract and students should be encouraged to share their thinking. When students learn to be flexible with numbers, they are able to decompose and compensate quantities and have a greater understanding for solving real-world problems. The objective for this lesson was to subtract by counting down on a number line. We met this objective by using an open number line to model real-world subtraction problems in a variety of ways.